welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I like to take you along and show you Georgia collard greens growing in zone 5B. And this is gonna be my second harvest. Now I have ag fabric mesh covering over my collard greens because anyone who grows any crops in the brassica family knows that it's hard to keep the um, butterflies from laying their eggs on your hard earned work. So I have found that it's a lot easier to keep this crop covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the mesh covering off my Georgia colored greens. And again, this is my second harvest. And this is the second year this collard green is growing. I planted it last, early last spring, and it literally um, winter over very well. And then the second year, this year, it came up. So I'm really, really pleased with the second year on this crop. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it. And the best way to harvest your collard greens is you wanna go and start picking off the bottom leaf. You wanna go all the way to the bottom and just, and I should probably just pull it off. But you can see I am harvesting all of the bottom leaves. And I'm gonna leave the top leaves on top. So this one has quite a bit of branches on it. So I'm just going to, let me see, I think I'll take a little more off. Okay, so I got that harvest, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. I'm har I harvest the leaves off this one stalk and I leave left it at the top so that it can keep growing back. And this is on the same plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this so you can kind of get an idea of what that's gonna look like once I've harvested all the leaves on this one stalk. And I'm really kind of overdue from harvesting because I usually like my leaves fairly young, fairly small, because they're a lot tender. I'm hoping that I can continue getting leaves during the spring, I mean, excuse me, during the winter, because when you get your first frost, the leaves become sweeter. And that was last year as well. Okay, so this particular stock right here, I just harvested. And you can see all, oh, this is where it has grown since last year. And so this one will continue to grow. And we got another branch right here at the bottom. But this one will continue to grow and I'll do the same way with this. Just um, take off the leaves from the bottom and work my way up. Leave the top leaves so that it continues to grow. And what will happen is the stalk will keep big, getting bigger and bigger. And this, it almost look, it'll look like a collard tree before long. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish harvesting. 
and then I'm going to come back and show you my harvest and then show you what it looks like after I've harvested all the leaves. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm finished. Here's my harvest. I've got almost two bowls, if you will, of Georgia collard greens in the second week of July. Again, this is my second harvest. As you can see, I've harvested all the leaves from the bottom to the top and probably before the season ends, my collard greens will probably be this high. It will look pretty much like a collard tree. So again, this is the second year my Georgia greens have came back. This is my second harvest. I, again, I keep a ag fabric cover over my crops to keep the cabbage butterflies off them. Keep the cabbage butterflies from laying their eggs and the cabbage and your um, greens becoming wormy. And this has been very effective. And so as you can see, you can see the stalks at the bottom. And so this is how much it has grown from last summer. So it died back, but then it grew back up. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna get another year on this particular crop or not, but I know it's been very generous. It has given me quite a bit of um, um, uh, crop. Um, hopefully I'll probably be harvesting this again before the end of August and maybe another harvest right before the first frost. So thank you for watching. I wanna let you know that those that are growing, uh, excuse me, growing food in a colder climate, Zone 5B, you can grow Georgia collard greens. And if you're able to protect the crop over the winter, you can have a, uh, a second year with them. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.